Hi, thanks for joining me on Wonders of the Monty. I've been shut out by weather the last two days, and we got some clear weather until about three today. So I'm gonna try to fish the truckie out at Derby Dam. I went as far east as I could and below another water diversion to try to hopefully let the water clear up a bit. There was a break in the snow yesterday and I drove out here actually and I the water was so brown and so high I didn't even fish. So if I go up to the mountains, I figure I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to park if I go fish a lake because it's been snowing so much. I'm not sure that I'm gonna have be able to find a spot where I'm not blocking snow removal equipment. I don't want to deal with tickets or getting towed. So I just figured I'd come out here because I knew the snow level is gonna be higher above the river and we'll see what's up. I got some Roadrunner jigs that are barbless. It's all barbless and you can't fish within a thousand feet of Derby Dam. And then I got some Roadrunner jigs that still have the little blade they come with. And I'm hoping that if I can't get anything on the regular jigs, that I can fish that one with the blade deeper. If the visibility is so low, they can pick up on that vibration and maybe I can get them to strike it. I have no idea. The odds of catching fish when the river's like this are low. You know, the water's just heavily stained. There's no visibility. But I don't want to sit in my apartment all day. <laughs> I just made a highlight clip. I can't make any more. I have a feeling this is going to be it for this week. And the next two weeks on my days off are all rain, snow, or both. Every single day off I have for the next two weeks. So I'm going to try to uh, catch something today. It ain't going to be easy, but it's not impossible. So let's just go down to the river and see if we can catch something. It's in the high 20s and I was feeling bad about how it was going to be cold until I saw guys doing construction, high road construction kind of near where I live. And they were out there this morning when I was driving by and I figured, you know what? If they can work on a road, I can go fishing. And the water is straight up brown. It's even dirtier than it was yesterday, maybe. This is gonna be a challenge, but I'm gonna try it. So this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with about one foot of visibility. So my strategy today is gonna be cast a lot because fish aren't going to see this if it's not right by their face and now that the sun's coming out that's going to help and I'm going to fish this at different levels and just see if I can get something to bite I don't know if I can make this work today but man I'm going to try if I fish cross current I can get a little bit slower of a retrieve and maybe bump into something. But I think today's a day where I'm gonna have to bump into something if I'm gonna catch something. I'm really letting my cast, I'm finishing them through. Cause if something's following it, they're not really gonna see me too well cause it's so muddy. So I'm just, I'm kind of swimming it around below me. I'm just hoping if I keep throwing this thing <laughs> and swimming it at every possible angle, I'll run it right past a fish at some point. That's what my whole day is kids banking on. One thing's for sure, they really cleaned out this brush, man. Cause you could never walk right up to the river every time I fished here. Well, I fished for hours. I haven't even got anything that looks like a fish. I haven't even gotten a, a, a suspicious snag. Miss nothing. And I know it's stained, but my experience tells me if I haven't hit anything, fishing hours in a bunch of river and the conditions are like this, that it's time to double down, drive to another spot, and do the skunk right. A or an F, let's go. All right, we're at the East Mustang Bridge now. 
<laughs> and I'm gonna fish this stretch right here that I rarely catch anything at. You know, it's just slower moving and the fish just seem to know what's going on. But because it's so stained, I'm hoping that maybe I get a little jump on the fish because of that. But I don't know. I'm making some casts. If I'm gonna get skunked, as I said, I'm getting skunked right. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be fishing this thing quick. And then I might go under the bridge and fish it slower. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, I haven't even had anything follow it, hit it, look at it, nothing today. And it's getting dark because there's a big storm coming and <laughs> my little window to fish is going to be coming to a close real soon. So I'm going to try to hit this up. Uh, I'm going to go down and fish this water here and then probably call it because it's the temperature's dropping, man. Well, that's going to do it. I mean, I tried a lot of different stuff. I tried jigs. I tried a needlefish for a while to try to get some more flash. I tried the Roadrunner with the blade on it, which just didn't look good at all. But I mean, I could barely see the jig until it was, unless it was like six inches under the surface. So I had about a foot visibility and I figured if I kept on throwing it, throwing it, throwing it, eventually I would run it across a fish that I was willing to bite, but it just never happened. And I just wasn't getting anything that even looked like a bite. Not a bump, not a nibble, not a follow. I got hooked up on a stick a couple times and it got me kind of excited. But there was nothing that I could honestly say was even a, a bump or a hit. The extended forecast for my days off for the rest of the month looks horrible snow rain i'm heading over to the sack area to see family right before christmas on my days off on the 20th so it looks like it's going to be raining every day down there and snowing in the mountains so i don't know might be a while to my patreon subscribers and my youtube subscribers i'm going to try to get some content up this month we need the weather that's coming, so it is what it is. I'll, I'll take it. It's going to make for a better spring and better river fishing. Until next time, <laughs> thank you for joining me on Wilderness with Imani.